So we're in John 21. Man, David, you and I started John, Gospel of John, over a year ago, man. Yeah. And now we're in John 21. We're in the last last section, man. This is it. <laughs> We've been praying about what to do next, and I, I, I think... Um, I think I like going into the book of Acts next uh, because, you know, the Gospels is the, is the four accounts of Jesus's life and then uh, and discipling and choosing his disciples and preaching the kingdom of God. And then the book of Acts is the fruition of that. It's, it's the outcome of what the disciples did. You know, um, when Jesus said, uh, go into the world and make disciples of all nations, they weren't confused about what that meant, right? Right. They weren't confused about that because because Jesus had modeled it for them, um, and so the the clearest the clearest interpretation. I've said this before, but the clearest interpretation of what Jesus meant is what the disciples did. I mean, and so what did they do, man? They they went to the world. And they preached the kingdom of God, and they ultimately gave their lives uh, for the kingdom of God. And so there's really no confusion about what Jesus meant when he said, go into the world and make disciples of all nations, teach them and baptizing them all that I've commanded you. And guess what? I'm going to be with you. He said, hello, but I'm saying, guess what? Guess what? I'm going to be with you till the end of time. And, and so uh, that's why I'm thinking that... Um, to, to follow into the book of Acts would really be um, a, a logical uh, next step. Um, let's see what the disciples uh, did. Um, and so I, I believe that's where we're going to go here in a couple weeks. Uh, I don't think we're going to get through this passage today before we, before our time is up. Um, but um, so anyway, so that's what we'll, that's where we'll, we'll go. We'll, we'll start walking through the book of Acts and see what Jesus does um, through the disciples um, in the early church um, and have our hearts and our lives continue to be challenged. So, uh, so in John 21 here in verses um, 15 uh, through 23, I was thinking 24 and 25 would be um, next week, but let's look at 15 to, through um, 23. I'll read the first first uh, few verses, and um, and y'all y'all can split up the rest of them. So, verse 15. Uh, when they had finished eating, Jesus uh, said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you truly love me more than these? And uh, yes, Lord, uh, Peter said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, well, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. In verse 16, again, Jesus said, Simon, and I don't know if there was some time in between these three times that, he, that Jesus asked him, all right? There probably was other conversation going on, you know, just like, just like our conversation, an extended conversation, right? So there might have been some other words spoken, different things talked about in between the three times. It makes sense that there would be. Um, that's not stretching scripture to say something that it's not saying because we don't do that. But we are allowing for a reasonable um, everyday life kind of interpretation. So there might have been some time in between the first and second and third time that Jesus asked. It makes sense, you know, that there would they were say other things. <clears throat> Verse 16, again, Jesus said, uh, Simon, son of John, do you, do you love me? And he answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said uh, to, to, to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him a third time, do you love me? And he told, he said, Lord, you you know all things. You know that I that I love you, and Jesus said, "Feed my sheep." I tell you the truth. When you were uh, younger, you dressed yourself and went where you wanted. But when you are old, 
you, you will stretch out your hand and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. Jesus said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. And then he said to Peter, follow me. All right, anybody want to pick up right there? spread among the brothers that this disciple was not to die yet Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die but if it is my will that he will remain until I come what is that to you this is the disciple who was bearing witness about these things and who has written these things and we know that his testimony is true now there is also now there are also many other things that Jesus did uh, were every one of them to be written, I suppose that the word itself could not contain the books that would be written. Okay. So the the first thing we're gonna ask is what's the what's the context? We wanna we wanna say 